Uh, so what we had started doing was that we had started figuring out who was getting reduced and who was getting oxidized in a particular reaction. So for example, you've got this reaction over here. So there's a reaction that's happening and uh, you have to figure out the oxidation state. And if the oxidation state decreases, that means a reduction is happening. If it increases, that means oxidation is taking place. Now, in this case, like you have this equation in front of you. Now you have to figure out the oxygen state of all the elements. So we're going to do some working over here. The first one is Cr2O7 and it's two minus. So, so I know the oxygen state of oxygen. So Cr, I'm not sure of. I'm not sure of Cr, so that's uh, unknown. So that's X. Uh, the two Cr's, uh, oxygen is minus two, but there are seven of them. And the total charge must be equal to the entire ion has a charge of minus two. So if you solve for this, it's going to be two X is equal to this is minus 14. That goes to the other side that becomes 12. And if you take two to the other side, that would become six. So that means CR over here is plus six. Like one of the CR is plus six. Remember, whenever we talk about oxidation states, we talk about the oxidation state of one of the atom not not the two and i mean we're not going to talk about the two crs together we're going to talk about one of them uh is this clear the first thing Ray, is this clear hania mars is this clear Sidra? can you hear me yes yes sir it's clear Asha, so so we have to figure out who's getting oxidized who's getting reduced the next one is hno2 so we're going to do that for hno2 and the same thing now H, we know that's a uh, plus one. N, I'm not, I don't know what N is. Oxen, I know that's minus two and there are two of them. So that's minus two times two. And the whole thing, it's a neutral molecule. So the total charge is zero. So if I solve for X, I think I should get what plus three. Do you correct me if I'm wrong? So N over here is plus three. Uh, CR over here is plus three. That's uh, already given. Or what is N over here in NO3 minus one? So we're going to try and solve that, NO3 minus one. So N, I'm not sure, oxygen is minus two and that's three of them. So the total charge on the entire IN is minus one. So if I solve for X, it should come out to be equal to plus five. So N over here comes out to be plus five. So all I need to figure out is who's getting oxidized and who's getting reduced. So so CR goes from plus six to two plus three. So that means it's getting reduced, it's gaining electrons and it's gaining how many electrons? It gains, uh, what is plus six to plus three? That is three electrons, right? And N is getting oxidized. It's going from plus three to plus five. So that means it, it got oxidized. And it lost exactly how many electrons it lost? two electrons. So the point is I've, I've figured out who's getting oxidized and who's getting reduced. Remember the one that's getting reduced is known as the oxidizing agent. The one that's getting oxidized is known as the reducing agent. The names are opposite. So remember this, the one who's getting reduced would be known as the oxidizing agent because it's oxidizing the other one. The one that's getting oxidized would be known as the reducing agent. So you need to figure out who's getting oxidized and who's getting, who's getting reduced. Uh, so this is something that you have to kind of do. Now, one very important thing that you should know of is, and that is uh, that whenever you have a redox reaction, the previous part, is that clear? All of this, you can find oxidation states, et cetera. Is this clear mass, clear? Oswa, is this clear? What do you say? So now what you, uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to try and learn how to balance uh, redox reactions. Now this is something that's, extremely important. It's like balancing equations, but balancing redox equations is always different. Uh, for example, if I give you an equation, 
I've got NA reacting with ALC plus. And it's forming a AL and NA plus one. Now this is a redox equation. Atomwise, it is balanced. It's perfectly balanced. Like there's one NA, there's one NA, there's one AL, there's one AL. So atomwise, it is balanced. And equations, they, they have to be balanced atomwise. The number of atoms over here should be equal to the number of atoms or ions on the right side. So that should be equal. But the thing is that when you balance a redox equation, the number of electrons that are lost and the number of electrons that are gained, they must be equal as well. So who's getting reduced? Aluminium is getting reduced. Its charge decreases. It goes from, it goes from plus three to zero. So it got reduced. It ended up gaining three electrons. Who's getting oxidized? Who's, who's got charge increase over at TK? That's Na. Na goes from zero to plus one. So that means it got, got oxidized. It lost exactly one electron. So one of them is gaining electrons. The other one is, is losing electrons. So there's a gain of a gain and loss of electrons that's happening. Uh, is this clear so far? Saro, clear? Yes. Achha, ab ye ke, uh, what you need to understand is that the number of electrons that are lost and gained, they have to be equal, which they're not. Like if this is gaining, remember redox happens when two things uh, uh, are there. One of them is gaining electrons. The other one is losing electrons. Basically, Na gives electrons to Al. It loses electrons. The other one gains electrons. But they have to be equal. Like if this is losing just one electron, how can that be gaining three electrons? So that's not possible. So how do you how do you make the number of electrons gain and lost equal? I need to multiply one of them by a certain number. So if it's gaining three electrons, then this must be losing three electrons. So what I need to do is I need to multiply this by three. What that means is I need to have three sodiums. Because if I have three sodiums, a sodium atom was losing just one electron. So if I have three sodium atoms, the total number of electrons lost is going to be three as well. So is this clear, this first example? Oswa, is this, Raid, is this clear? Wafa, is this clear? Yes, sir. So remember this, uh, that an equation has to be balanced atomized. Uh, the number of elements uh, the atoms must be balanced. That's one thing. And the other thing is that uh, electrons gained and lost, they must be equal as well. They got to be, they should be equal. That's the second part. The number of electrons gained and lost, they should be. They should always be equal. So, uh, so that's the part that we're going to work on. So whenever you see an equation, uh, the number of electrons gained and lost, they have to be equal at all costs. So I'm going to do another one. Let's say, let's say I've got, uh, I've got Mg. And this time Mg is reacting with Al. And Al is three positive. That's just, so I've got, so I've got Mg reacting with Al and Al is three positive and uh, uh, Mg becomes Mg2 plus. And I've got uh, the Al gets reduced. So it goes from three plus to zero. So it kind of gets reduced, uh, its charge decreases, it gains uh, a total of, it gains three electrons. And on the other hand, I've got Mg, which, uh, which goes from zero to two plus, so it lost two electrons. What would I multiply the two with? What numbers? 
so that the number of electrons gained and lost becomes equal. What should I multiply this with and what should I multiply this with? I want to make, make them equal. Two and three. Okay, so it's going to be two and three. I need to multiply this by two. So that means I need to have two aluminiums. And I need to multiply this by three. So that means I'll have three magnesiums. So now the number of electrons gained and lost are equal. Together equal the number of electrons that are being gained is six. And the number of electrons that are being lost is also six because Mg was losing just two electrons. But if you have three Mgs, that means the total electrons lost is also six. Al was gaining just three electrons, but if you have two Al's, the number of electrons gained would also be six. So make sure this is what you're going to do. This is the basic thing. So I'm going to do, uh, let's just do one more. I'll just, I'll just do one uh, on the worksheet. Uh, let's say this one. So I need to, I need to balance this. Okay, okay. I said, I need to, I need to balance this equation. So who's getting reduced if he goes from two plus two, uh, just hold on. So if he goes from, uh, from two plus two zero, so that means it, uh, it gained, uh, two electrons. So it gained two electrons. Let's go three color things, and this is just hanging up. Just a second. So let's let's take uh, uh, let's take Na, and uh, let's take uh, Fe three plus. And over here, I've got uh, I've got a plus one, and it's forming Fe. Now the issue is Na goes to plus one, so that means it lost one electron. Fe gets reduced, goes from three plus two zero. That means it gained. So now this one gained uh, three electrons. So uh, I need to make the number of electrons gained and lost equal. So I'll multiply this by three. So I'll have three Na and three Na on this side as well. And that's how the equation is now balanced. Okay, so remember the equation is not going to be balanced unless the number of electrons gained and lost become equal. Okay, is this is this clear to everyone? Izan, is this clear? Mars, Oswa, Sidra, is this clear? Emmet, clear? Yes. I says, so the same thing. So, so if this is 100% clear, we're going to move to the more difficult part. This equation was really simple. And the reason this equation was very simple was, okay, everything was already given to you. I mean, they, I mean, the charges were all written. TK, but so, so this was a piece of cake. Like they gave you everything. So we're going to try and balance an actual equation now. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pick an equation. Just a second, I think. As I, so I'm, I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick. Uh, let's, I said, let's try and I'm going to hide these. Uh, just a second, let me. Uh, I said, I'm going to I'm going to hide the numbers over here, and I said, I'm going to hide the numbers over here. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to I'm going to try and balance this equation. So now, so here's I said, here's your equation. I want to balance this equation, so. Now this one is, I mean, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Everything would be exactly the same. The only thing is, the only trouble is that we have to kind of figure out what the oxidation states are. So first one is IO4 minus one. I'm going to do my working here. 
I of O minus one. Uh, I don't know what I is, so that's X. I know that oxygen is minus two and there are four of them. And the total charge must be equal to minus one. So if I solve for X, what would I get? I get, take the minus eight to the other side, I'll get plus seven. So that means iodine over here is plus seven. I said, what's, uh, what's P in pH three? So let's try and solve that one, pH three. I don't know what P is. Uh, H is plus one and that's into three. And the total charge of this molecule is uh, zero, no charge. So X should come out to be equal to minus three. So P over here is minus three. I is already minus one, they've already given that. Uh, so that's obviously P four is a neutral element. Remember neutral elements are, they don't have a charge. I don't care about H and O because uh, O is minus two, H is plus one, H is plus one, O is minus two. So, <coughs> so I already know those oxidation states and they're not changing. Like oxygen is minus two here, oxygen is still minus two over here. So it's nothing is happening to oxygen. Now the next part, what's, what's going on? Who's getting reduced? If you look carefully, uh, it's iodine goes from plus seven to minus one. So can anyone tell me how many electrons are gained? It's getting reduced. So how many electrons did it gain? What answer is it? Mass will be Sidra? Raids will be How many electrons are gained? So also it's going to be eight electrons plus seven to minus one. That's that's a gain of. It's getting reduced. You get charge if it's getting reduced. That's a gain of electrons. Gains eight electrons. And P goes from minus three to zero. So that means it lost just three electrons. It got oxidized. So uh, the last part is we need to make the number of electrons gain and lost equal. And the way you're going to the way you're going to do that is uh, you'll you can make it 24 each. So this would be multiplied by eight. So th that means you should have eight phosphoruses. So and this should be multiplied by uh, this should be multiplied by three. So that means so the actual balance equation is going to be if I write the actual balance equation, it's going to be three I O four minus one. I said this one, sorry. So it's going to be, uh, you're multiplying it by three. So there should be three iodines, three IO4 minus ones. And there should be three iodines over here as well. So three I minus one over here on the other side. The other one, uh, P would be multiplied. There should be eight Ps. Like P was losing three electrons. You want eight of them so that the total electrons lost is 24. So there should be eight PH3s. So you should have so you should have eight PhDs. And on the other side, there should be eight phosphoruses as well. So uh, there are four already there. So you'll just multiply it by two. That's it. And the only thing that you need to balance at the end is the water. Because all the other ratios are already balanced. Uh, the only thing, there were eight phosphoruses and there were three iodines. So we did that. The only thing that you have to now check and balance is the, is the last thing that's water. So you've got, you've got 12 oxygens. So there should be 12 water molecules over here. Now your equation is perfectly balanced. This is exactly the same equation that is written over here. Like if I, if I rub this off. So this is exactly the same equation which you have over here. And remember for redox equations, 
This is the only way the equation can be balanced. You have to balance the number of electrons gained and lost. They have to be balanced because you you can't you can't really balance this equation in the normal way. I mean, you can you can try and balance this equation in the normal way. It's not going to get balanced. TK, uh, I mean, the equation looks simple. The balancing looks simple, but no matter what you do, the equation never gets balanced. The only possible way or the easy way of balancing this equation is you have to balance the number of electrons lost and lost and gained. TK, is this clear? Sound clear? Amna, is this clear? Emma, is this clear? Yes. TK. So we, we'll practice more of these. Uh, so just remember, you have to figure out who's gaining electrons, who's losing electrons. Once you have figured that out, you just have to make the number of electrons gained and lost equal. So you have to multiply either one of them with some number or both of them with some, some number. For example, over here, this was gaining three electrons. This was losing two electrons. So you multiplied that by two and this by three. Uh, the same you did over here. You have to figure out, the only difficulty is you have to figure out the oxidation states first. So over here, the thing was that uh, phosphorus was uh, uh, losing three electrons and iodine was gaining eight electrons. So ma to make the electrons gain and lost equal, you, you multiply that by eight. That means you should have eight phosphoruses, eight phosphoruses over here and eight phosphoruses over here. So you multiply that by two, this by eight. And over here, there should be, it was gaining eight electrons. So to make them equal, you multiply this by three. That means you should have three iodines, three iodines over here and three iodines over here as well. So let's try and do some other ones as well. <coughs> Just one second, then let me copy an equation and then we can work on that. Uh, so I'm going to try and copy this. Let's copy the, the one that we did, uh, Cr207 and HNO2. One second. Cr2, O7, 2 minus. And there is HNO2, or K. Uh, this is H plus one. And so what are the products? The products are Cr3 plus NO3 minus one. Just one second, let me copy this. And there is H2O. So now you can see the equation on your screen. Uh, that's the entire equation. We need to balance this. So we need to, we need to, we need to balance this equation. Remember, we we just we just did this uh, a while ago. Uh, we figured out the oxidation state CR over here was plus six. We already did that. N over here was uh, plus three. We can just double check this. H is plus one. And I'm not sure that's X. Oxygen is minus two, and that's minus two times two. And the total thing should be equal to zero because it's a neutral molecule. So if you solve for X, X would come out to be equal to what? Uh, plus three, I think. So, so that means over here, N is plus three. Uh, CR is three plus, that's already, I mean, it's already given. NO3, N was over here plus five. We solved this, uh, it was X minus two times three, that's oxen. And the total thing was equal to minus one. If we solve, solve for this, X would come out to be plus five. So you had, you had this molecule now. Uh, ignore the H and O because their oxidation states are not changing. Uh, o is minus two, O is minus two, H is plus one, O is minus two and O and H are still minus two and plus one. So moving to the next part, make the number of electrons lost and gained equal. Who's getting reduced? Uh, CR is the one that's getting reduced. And it's gaining how many electrons? It's gaining plus six to three. So that's uh, gains three electrons. And I'm talking about one CR at the moment, just one CR. Now the other one, Who's losing electrons? N goes from plus three to 
plus five. So that means it lost. So that means it lost two electrons. So this one lost. So this one lost two electrons. Uh, so I just need to make the number of electrons gain and lost equal. So what numbers should I use to multiply both with? I'll multiply this by three. And I multiply this other one by, by two. TK, is this clear? Hanya, is this clear? Yes, sir. And uh, so that means basically I need to have two CRs. I mean, when I multiply by two, that basically means I need two CRs. So I already have two CRs over here. I just need to multiply this by two. two. And when I multiply this by three, that means I need three nitrogen. So I need to have three nitrogen. So I'm going to multiply this by three and this with three as well. So these things are now balanced. The number of electrons gained and lost are now equal. So I've already balanced these ones over here. They are already balanced. So I'm not going to touch them now, TK, because if I, if I uh, disturb this balancing, uh, the number of electrons gain and lost would become different again. So I don't want to do that. Uh, so, so the only things left, uh, balance it the normal way. Like you've got water over here, so you can balance the oxygens. Like you've got seven and uh, six oxygens, so that's 13. Uh, the nine over here, so there should be four water molecules, four oxygens. And you can similarly balance the hydrogens. There are eight over here, so there's three over here. So there should be five H plus one ions. That should be on this side. And that's that's now your balance equation. You can also have a look. Uh, uh, this is exactly the way you balanced it. Three, five, two, three, and four. So this is exactly the same that you're getting. So make sure to balance the number of electrons gain and lost and make them make them equal. And we can try some more equations. So let me copy another equation, just one second. So this one is MnO4 minus one plus DE. So I've got uh, MnO4 minus one plus, there is DE. And then there's OH minus one. And then there's MnO2. And TeO3 minus two. And the last one is H2O. I said, so this is the equation that's in front of you. I'm going to try and balance this one. And uh, remember, this is delirium. This is DE. Figure out the oxidation states. First thing, figure out what the charges are on the, on the elements. So MnO4 minus one. Uh, try and figure that out. Mn, you're not sure. That's X. Oxygen is minus two. And there are four of them. So this is going to be equal to minus one. And if you solve for X, it should come out to be equal to plus seven. So MN over here is, is plus seven. DE is zero because it's a neutral element. O is minus two H is plus one. So don't, we don't care about that. MNO2, so find out what MNO2 is. Uh, MN is X. Oxygen is uh, minus two times two, and it's a neutral molecule. So, so the entire thing should be equal to zero. So X comes out to be plus four. And what's DE over here? DEO3 minus two. So solve for this. Uh, DE is unknown, that's X. Oxygen is minus two times three. And the entire thing should be equal to, uh, it's got an overall charge of minus two. And if you solve for this, it would come out to be what? Plus four. 
is this plus four minus six causal? It's plus four. I think it's plus four. And O and H, H is plus one everywhere, O is minus two everywhere. Is this clear? Yes or no? Maz, Hania, Amna, is this clear? Oswa? Is this chat can type kar diya, approach? Yes. And that's the first part. And now you have to balance it. Uh, balance the number of electrons gained and lost, make them equal. So how do you do that? Uh, first thing, who's getting reduced? Plus seven to? Plus seven to plus four. So, so MN is the one that's getting reduced. And it gains how many electrons? Gains uh, three electrons, plus seven to plus four. Who's getting oxidized? D is the one that's getting oxidized. It goes from zero to plus four. So it lost a total of four electrons. Ab kya ke dono ko multiply karna kisi number se. So you multiply the first one by three and you multiply the second one by, by four. Then the number of electrons gained and lost is going to become equal. So multiply the first one by, so you did that. Okay. Uh, other four electrons, the yampe three, the you multiplied the first one by three and you multiplied the second one by, by four. And, uh, so that means basically you need three MNs. So three MNs over here, and this, this should be multiplied by three. And you need uh, four TEs. So four TE over here, and there should be four TE over here. Baki chizo ko balance karo. What's the rest? What's remaining? That's uh, like you can balance the, I mean, you, you just need to balance the rest. Uh, so you've got, you've got, uh, I mean, the, in comes, in comes circle, you know, that's the one that needs to be balanced. Not easy. I mean, even balancing the last two is not that easy. But you can't touch the other ones. These are the only two things that you now have to balance. You can't touch the ratio of the other ones, TK. If you touch them, uh, the ratio, I mean, the number of electrons gained and lost, uh, that would be disturbed again. So what are you going to do? Uh, first thing, how many, uh, how many oxygens you got? You got 12 oxygens? So now the problem is I've got, uh, I've got water over there. As I know, I've got oxygen over here as well. So there are, there are how many oxygen? There are 12 oxygen. Okay, this last part is also difficult. As anyways, I've got 12 oxygen. And there is, uh, we're not sure how many oxygens I've got over here, uh, but there's there's supposed to be a number over here, which I do, I'm not sure. How many oxygens I've got over here already? That's uh, six plus, I think, 12. How many do I have? I've got uh, six plus four into three, that's 12. So that's 18 oxygens over here. So I need to I need to increase the number of oxygens on this side. Uh, that is something I need to do. So I what I can do is uh, what I can do is I can have I need six more oxygens. So I can have just for for the sake of I can have six OH minus ones. So I'll have another six oxygens. But the problem is I'll also have six H atoms now. So the H atoms need to be balanced. So if I balance the uh, H atoms the oxygens on this side will increase as well. TK, the oxygen on this side, because, so what I can do is, I mean, remember, let's focus on the last part. There's N oxygens and there is N H atoms. But if I disturb this thing, the number of uh, oxygens on that side would also, would also increase. So I need to figure out intelligently uh, what two numbers can I can I can I put over here? So we can just uh, we can just do trial and error. We can keep on trying, figuring out. Uh, we can try do and tr do trial and error over here. Take the last thing over here. We can continue to use numbers and see when would the when would the oxygen and the hydrogens get balanced. 
ठीक है दैट्स द ओनली पार्ट दैट वी कैन डू सो इग्नोर द रेस्ट वेयर इज द वाटर गो जस्ट वन सेकंड अच्छा लेट्स स्टार्ट विद वन वन दैट्स डेफिनेटली नॉट बैलेंस्ड ठीक है बिकॉज़ यू गॉट 12 बॉक्सेस दैट्स 13 over here you have already uh 12 uh plus 6 and that's still not balanced so you can pick another number and you can try option number 2 i mean if you try option number 2 uh what are you going to get uh if you try option number 2 it's going to be if you have two oi signs So how many auctions you got now? You got twelve plus two, and that gives you fourteen auctions in total. So you got you got fourteen auctions now. Uh, what would you put on the other side now? If you want, uh, if you want to balance, the, there should be one H two. The H needs to be balanced, but but that still doesn't give you the right quantity. Okay, if you have there's something that's actually wrong over here. We we did something wrong, sir. Um, sir, you have MN04 with four. Why didn't you put four? Sir, because we have three gains. Three. Okay, I I did some mistake somewhere, and that's why the 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 we're stuck with the auction number two. Sir, I did some mistake somewhere, and that's why the the we're stuck with the auction number two. Sir, I did some mistake somewhere, and that's why the the we're stuck with the auction number two. Sir, I did some The mistake was over here. Okay, we had to multiply this by four. I I did the other way around. I so so ignore this. We have to start all over again. We did this mistake. The first t had to be multiplied by three actually. So I actually multiplied that by four. Okay, that was the mistake. And M N was the one that that was supposed to be multiplied by four. तो यहां पे गलती की थी अब आसान होगा अब वो इशू नहीं होगा ठीक है नाउ द नाउ द ओएच इज गोइंग टू बी बैलेंस्ड प्रीटी क्विकली लाइक लाइक देयर टू हाइड्रोजन्स ओवर हियर सो यू कैन काइंड ऑफ द लास्ट थिंग इज यू कैन पुट टू ओवर हियर द ऑक्सन वुड प्रोबब्ली बी बैलेंस्ड 16 प्लस 2 दैट्स 18 ऑक्सन सो ओवर हियर यू हैव 4 टू 8 8 प्लस 9 दैट्स That's eight uh, plus nine is seventeen, and that's one eighteen. So now the auctions are balanced. So now it's not a problem anymore. There's just two hydrants. Two, so you just do did. So now it's easy. Okay. So that was the trouble. We actually made a mistake over there. Clear? So now this equation is balanced. So is this clear to everyone? Mass clear? Ahmed is on. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. uh so i'll just give you some homework for this uh i'll just post it right now theek hai i'll put it in google classroom try and solve this one uh make sure you try and do this it's not that difficult I'll, hopefully everyone has the board link uh it's not that difficult unless you make a mistake some some silly mistake like we just did over here otherwise you just have to find remember the the steps find the oxidation states find who's gaining electrons who's losing electrons figure out how much they're gaining and how much they're losing and just make them equal multiply the first one by a certain number multiply the second one with a certain number so that the number of electrons gain and loss become equal aur phir jo baki atoms bache hain na unko phir aapne normal tarike se balance karna hai theek hai to chale theek hai let's uh, continue with this in the next class then theek hai okay everyone laugh is जो ग्राफ्स नहीं होते हैं